Hey guys, what's up, how's it going? My name is Robin, welcome back once again to the channel, and in today's video, we're going to be talking all about Enbridge stock. So Enbridge stock is one of the most popular dividend based, especially high yield dividend based stocks that you can get from Canada. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to share my thoughts about the company. I'm going to let you guys know if I'm buying Enbridge stock. And I'm going to talk about like things like, you know, is the dividend worth it? Are they going to keep their dividends and talk about like their choice to increase the dividends going into 2021. So one of the main reasons why Enbridge is such a popular stock is because as of right now at the time of, this doing, of doing this video, Enbridge is one of the stocks that has the highest dividend yield on the TSX. At the time of doing this video, Enbridge stock's dividend yield is currently sitting at 8.10%. And the funny thing about Enbridge is it's one of those unique stocks because normally when you look at a dividend stock that has a really high yield, it almost kind of raises some red flags. I'm going to talk about some of those things inside this video, but Enbridge is one of those companies that just even though it has a few uh, red flags that kind of set off some alarms, it's actually still one of the most consistent Canadian stocks, so it's very unique in its own way. So before we go any further in the video, I just want to say really quickly, if you guys are enjoying this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. If you guys want more Canadian based dividend investing content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. So for things first, one of the first things you want to look at when you're um, analyzing a dividend based stock to see if it's stock worth investing into is you want to look at companies that are worth holding for the long term. And one of the things that really um, looks good with a dividend based company is are they growing their dividend on a regular basis? So if we look at Enbridge stock, we can see that in fact, in that past, they actually have been growing their dividend on a pretty consistent basis. In fact, they're one of the most consistent um, dividend paying, uh, paying stocks based out of Canada. And as you guys can see from this cool little graph that I managed to pull up, over the past 65 years, that's 65 years, Enbridge has paid a dividend, so it's pretty consistent. And over the past 25 years, Enbridge has raised their dividend at an annual basis of 11%, which is pretty large. This is the reason why Enbridge is one of those solid-based companies and why it's such a popular dividend-based company out of Canada. And as a dividend investor, this is one of the best things you want to look for. Of course, you want to see that growth. You want to see our money growing over time, those dividends growing over time. And as we reinvest them back into the company, that can grow that stock and your return will keep compounding and growing as time goes on. So this is one really cool thing I like to see about Enbridge. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of people like Enbridge stock. Of course, though, when it comes to dividend stocks, there's more to dividend stocks than just, than just the dividend yield. And although Enbridge stock has had a good history of growing that dividend yield and has a pretty high dividend yield right now, we need to look at some things like stock appreciation and how Enbridge has grown over the past couple of years. And of course, on top of that, one of the biggest concerns that everybody has about Enbridge is how well are they going to do going through the pandemic? You know, are they going to keep going? Uh, are they going to keep decreasing as they have been lately or will they come out on top? A lot of people are wondering, you know, if the dividend is going to be stable. So we're going to talk about that throughout, throughout this video. But first, let's talk about some of the stock appreciation and let's take a peek about uh, take a peek over the past few years on how Enbridge stock has grown recently. So if we pull up this cool little graph here on um, Google, we can see that Enbridge stock has been in a pretty interesting position. So even though you know their dividend has been growing over the past five years, we can see that if we go over the past five years, their stock appreciation has kind of been a little bit over, over the board. And if we go to the max setting here, we can see that they've actually been declining over the past, I'd say five or six years. The stock has been up and down, even though the dividend yield has been growing. So this is kind of interesting. And although we would like to normally see um, this stock grow over time and show, the, and show that stock appreciation, I think this little decline can tell us some things about Enbridge and talk about like, is this an undervalued company that's probably going to grow into the future? So ideally, I would like to see that stock appreciating and growing on a regular basis. But remember, if you do have a good dividend yield and you are investing um, throughout a couple years, you can see that growth. Um, but let's talk a little bit about the payout ratio. And going in the future, I would like to see some more stock appreciation and some more growth from Enbridge. But since they've been trading on decline over the past past a while, we might actually see that stock grow over the next year. So when it comes to dividend investing, one of the things you really want to look at is the payout ratio of the companies you're investing into. You generally want companies that have a lower payout ratio, so they have more money going back into the company, and they can also have that conservative dividend. If, if a company is paying out too much of its earnings, that kind of puts the dividend at risk. And when it comes to Enbridge, one of the big things a lot of people have with, with Enbridge, is, including myself, which kind of raises a bit of a red flag, is the fact that they've always had, um, and they currently have a high pay, a dividend payout ratio. Um, well, the funny thing about Enbridge is, like I said, even though this is usually a bad thing, Enbridge stock continues to kind of do okay when it comes to raising its dividend. So it is one of those weird companies and a lot of companies have suffered um, a lot of losses this year. So that obviously raises the dividend pay, uh, ratio up for most companies. But still, Enbridge does have a high dividend payout ratio. And at some point in time, um, this dividend probably is going to stop growing unless the company sees some mega growth when it comes to earnings or even stock appreciation. 
So looking at some information here about the dividend, Enbridge currently has an annual dividend of $3.17. Uh, once, again, once again, giving it about this 8% dividend yield. And you guys can see that the PR ratios are pretty high here. We have 300, over 300% 300 of the past 12 months. Now, obviously this is a little bit inflated because of the pandemic, because of earnings being over the place and being generally lower, but that's pretty much the case for most companies. But if you look at an estimate of the course of the year, we can see a bit of a recovery, but it's still pretty high. Sitting at a PR ratio that's over 100% still isn't the best. But you know what, Enbridge has been doing this for a while and they can continue to do okay um, so it's kind of this weird position but still we can see that this is probably what's stunting the growth when it comes to Enbridge so if they could bring this payout ratio down um, this would look really nice and probably allow the company to grow a little bit more going in the future and this is one of the big thing that's one of the big things that's stopping me from really going hardcore when it comes to investing with Enbridge. Now, one of the interesting things of late that we've heard on the news is that Emerge actually recently announced that they're actually going to be growing their dividend by 3% going into the new year. Now, this kind of shocked me, and I think most people are surprised, but it does show some confidence and it does show some consistency with Emerge. You know, some other companies like RioCan have recently decreased their dividend. You know, that's probably a good thing in the lawn scheme. When it comes to Emerge, them increasing it actually makes it look really good on them, but it just, um, it's kind of risky right because you know if the company keeps growing their dividend and they're going to have these high payout ratios you know at some point in time they're going to either have to scale back the dividend increases so they'll go up lower over time or they're just going to have to cut them because they're giving them too much uh, once again it's kind of interesting but um, just something i wanted to throw in there really quickly now at the end of the day this all comes to one simple question that simple question is is Enbridge worth buying today now I honestly think you might want to add Enbridge inside your portfolio. In fact, I do have Enbridge as a small percentage of my portfolio, but I would be very careful about adding too much growth for Enbridge because you know what? Enbridge will probably grow going in the future. I do see maybe some stock appreciation growing. And if you are brand new to investing and you're just buying into the company, now is probably a good time to buy because you haven't seen that that decrease. So maybe, you know, we could see some growth over the next couple of years. But once again, I wouldn't go too crazy with Enbridge because of the fact that there are some risky things, especially when it comes to long-term long longevity of the company. So if you're going to invest in Enbridge, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. In fact, I'm going to be doing it myself, but I would be sure to balance the portfolio with some solid dividend-based stocks as well to help have that consistent growth just in case that Enbridge doesn't do good going over the next couple of years. Now, one thing I want to point out really quickly before we end this video, with the price decreasing so much for the past years, uh, over the past a while, some people might think, might look at Enbridge thinking it's an undervalued stock. Now, if you look over the past five years, we can see that once again, Enbridge is down 12%. So if you've invested in the company over the past 12 years, you're probably not sitting at the best return. It kind of just depends on when you bought in. Um, but when it comes to year over year, we can see that in, t in 2020, Enbridge is still down quite a bit from the pandemic and it hasn't really recovered that much. So, you know, there's some signs that, you know, maybe this stock is underappreciated and there are some signs that it could grow and it does have a nice dividend yield so if you buy into the company you could get those that nice dividend yield to keep reinvesting and you should see some growth coming into 21 uh, 2021 or 2022 so if you're brand new to investing or you don't hold a lot of emerge it might be worth it to buy a couple shares but once again i would be sure to grab some solid good good quality canadian based growth investing dividend stocks just to kind of balance things out just in case if Enbridge, you know takes a little long time to grow or just in case if in the end it still you know has a decline for the next couple of years so at the end of the day i'm still buying Enbridge, and i still think it's a great solid stock but i'm actually not buying it for the high dividend yield and i don't think you guys should either i'm actually buying it for the potential of the dividend yield being reinvested back into the company to get some nice solid stock appreciation over the next couple years. So I think that's maybe a strategy you guys might wanna look at and just be careful because you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that dividend yield kinda of shrunk or they stopped increasing it so much or if even it got cut. You know, we've seen this with companies like RealCan. So if it can, can happen to a company like RealCan, it can also happen to Enbridge. So I'm not going to go crazy with Enbridge, but I am going to be adding a couple shares over the over the new year because I do think this stock could, you know, have good appreciation and good growth, but I also understand the risk of investing with Enbridge. And of course, guys, like usual, I like to be transparent on this channel about the stocks that I buy and as I grow them inside my portfolio. So I currently only own three individ individual shares of Enbridge, which isn't very much, but going into the new year, I'm going to be buying a few more shares and... The bulk of my holdings for Enbridge is actually in an ETF called the VDY, which is a high dividend yield Canadian based e uh, ETF. So I actually have most of my shares in there, but I am looking to buy some more individual shares of Enbridge um, as time goes on over the next little while. All right, guys, that's it for this video. So please let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what you guys think of Enbridge. Are you guys buying Enbridge stock? And of course, guys, if there's any different Canadian stocks or other any other stocks you want me to review, please let me know in the comments below because I am going to be doing more uh, videos where I review individual stocks uh, going into the new year. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, please let me know what you guys think in the uh, in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys want more Canadian-based investing videos. So thanks for joining me today, today, guys. I hope you guys have a good day and take care.